let's prove a, a standard or a fundamental limit problem. Uh, the limit, the limit when x approaches a of x to the power n minus a to the power n for x minus a. We want to prove that this limit is equal to n times a to the power n minus 1. Okay, so this is what I want to prove. Okay, so let's get started. So when we say x is approaching a, what we are saying is x is not equal to a but it's very close to a. So we can do start with a substitution or well, let x is equal to x is approaching a so we can say let x is equal to a plus h where h is a very small number where h is approaching zero. This implies making h the subject I can say x minus a is equal to h and when x is approaching a when x is approaching a this implies your h is approaching zero x is approaching a means your h is approaching zero so now this whole thing the left hand side changes into a different limit problem so this is the limit when h approaches zero of a plus h to the power n minus a to the power n over o h because x plus a is equal to h. Now I'm going to expand this a plus h to the power n using binomial theorem. Okay, so using binomial theorem. How can we expand a plus h to the power n? I hope you know the binomial theorem. So this is nc0 a to the power n h to the power 0. I'm expanding, uh, expanding this using binomial theorem plus nc1 a to the power n minus 1 h to the power 1 plus nc2 a to the power n minus 2 h squared and so on plus uh, it will become ncn ncn a to the power 0 h to the power n so this simplifies so a plus h to the power n simplifies to nc0 is 1 h to the power 0 is also 1. So this is a to the power n plus nc1 a to the power n minus 1 times h plus nc2 a to the power n minus 2 times n minus 2 times h squared plus goes up to ncn is again 1 a to the power 0 is also 1 plus h to the power n okay so this simplifies to this so in place of a plus h to the power n I can write this okay so now you can write so the limit the same limit limit when h approaches 0 of I'll write this in the big bracket so this is a to the power n plus I'll uh, write 1 over h here in place of dividing by h is same as multiplying by 1 over h plus n n n c1 n c1 is n so I can write this is a to the power n plus n times a to the power n minus 1 times h plus nc2, I'm writing nc2, times a to the power n minus 2, okay, so we're almost there, minus, you have got a to the power n, so let me 
write this better. So I can write here plus h to the power n minus a to the power n. Okay, so what will get cancelled? Okay, so okay, so what will happen? So yeah, before uh, uh, I think you can remove this bracket. You can put this inside this bracket. So this plus a to the power n and minus a to the power n gets cancelled. So now I'm going to divide the whole thing by h. So again, so the limit h approaches 0 of, when you're dividing by h, this will become n times a to the power n minus 1. You're dividing by h, so h will ca get cancelled plus nc2 times a to the power n minus 2. And when you're dividing h squared by h, it will become h plus and this, when you're dividing by h, will become h to the power n minus 1. Okay, so now is the more crucial step. Now what we're saying is the limit is h is approaching 0. So when h is approaching 0, this is going to, this whole thing is going to become 0. Okay, so you're applying the limit. That means when h is 0, this is going to be 0. Wherever you have h, it's going to be zero. So this whole thing is going to become zero. So the limit when h approaches, so you can say this implies the limit. So when x approaches a of x to the power n minus a to the power n o x minus a is equal to n times a to the power n minus one. Now this is a very important limit problem. Now we're going to use this to prove by first principle. So let me use a different color. So by first principle we want to prove that if f of x is x to the power n, f dash x is n times x to the power n minus 1 or the power uh, function x to the power n when you differentiate it the derivative is n times x to the power n minus 1 and we want to use the first principle so uh, if f of x is if f of x is x to the power n f of x plus h would be x plus h x plus h to the power n so by first principle, by first first principle, what can we say? F dash x is equal to the limit when h approaches zero of this is the by definition, this is the derivative by the first principle, f of x f of x plus h minus f of x over h, where h is approaching 0. So let's just substitute what is given. So the limit when h approaches 0 of f of x plus h, which is x plus h to the power n minus f of x is x to the power n over h. Now we're going to do a substitution here. So let, let x plus h is equal to z. Let x plus h is equal to z, which implies in place of h, we can write z minus x. Okay, and when h approaches 0, when h approaches 0, then you can say when h is approaching 0, you can say z would be approaching x. So this whole thing will change into a different limit problem. So this is the limit when z approaches x of z to the power n minus x to the power n over 
what is h? z minus x. z minus x. So here, what, what have we proved just now? When the limit when x is approaching a of x to the power n minus a to the power n divided by x minus a is n times a to the power n minus 1. So using the same limit, the same limit, we can say here z is approaching x and the limit when z is approaching x of x to the power n minus x to the power n divided by x minus n, sorry, z, <laughs> divided by z minus x is equal to n times x to the power n minus 1. Now where do we use this? Okay, now this is the basic formula for differentiating po uh, poly, uh, power functions. So example, if f of x is say x cube, we know df dash x. You drop the power down, so that is 3x squared. You drop the power down, so this power, you drop it down and then decrease this power by 1. So f dash x is 3x squared. So let me give you one example, one more example of f of x is equal to say x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x. You can individually differentiate each of them. So f dash x is, this would be 3x squared. This differentiates to 3x squared. Here you drop the power, so 2 times 2 is 4, x to the power 1, and here the power is 1, so this is minus 5x to the power 0. So this simplifies to 3x squared plus 4x minus 5. 